This position is extremely important. Main thing, remember, is not such places here. It has to be one knuckle, two knuckle, three knuckle, or whatever. All surface of the fist is a connection point. The more flatter it will connect to any part of the body, whichever is connected to, the less damage you will get to yourself. It's very, very simple. The more pinpointed the strike will connect it to certain services, the more chances you will gain this sort of injury. And especially if you do this for, uh, for fun or a living, when you have a wrapper and you have a glove and you have some sort of meat part or whatever, as soon as you take them down, you come out on the street, tick, injury. Your arm and the fist, it does not get used to it. All right, so the main point is connect it with whole surface of your punching, you know, punching arm, okay? Again, some people would like to close their fist, roll their fingers inside. I don't really like that and I'll explain to you why. As soon as you roll your fingers inside out, for example, I'll show it. Yeah, right there. Roll it in like you normally do. That's it, very good. If you connect it to a very, very hard surface without paddings, very often, if you swing it to somebody, you can connect it with that side of the knuckles. And when it connects it, it will do that to the wrist. It will snap the wrist. Do you understand? So my point is, if you let them down like that, straight, or it is straight, and you put that on the top. So when you strike it, you just strike it by the surface of the skin, there. Even though it's connected to that, it will be connected flat. Right. So that will not put no pressure like that. If you put the pressure on that, see, it bend in my wrist, yes, sir. right? If you keep it flat, keep it flat, keep it flat. Whatever much as like to put it, it will not bend the wrist. So injury will not occur. Okay, very simple trick. Okay, put this on and do it a few more, just with a step. Step, move. Blow it. That's nice. Different? Yeah. How do they feel? I mean, I can tell you personally from the effects of before. I mean, it's a big puncher anyway. But when you add that motion to it, and that it's almost like a whip, and what happens at the point of impact is not even just going into the pad here, it's going right up and into my shoulder. And uh, so if you're doing this and you're training it, the pad holder, be, be a little careful, make sure that you hold some structure because when the strike gets developed, it's gonna go right into that shoulder. What it, within percentage, how much you would say did that brought a power behind it from before and now? It, it's double the power. Double the power. There's no question. Okay, so that's the easy. You will get that and you see that and you'll try to learn it just for the simple purpose to have better fighting skill. That's all. We don't try to change your style.